how do you succeed at anything? How can you become immediately better at whatever it is you're trying to get better at? Well, there's, there's two things. And in this video, I'm going to give you both of those things. And if you do these things, I think it's going to help you greatly. Before I talk about these things, I want to give credit where credit is due. And the credit for this video goes to an email I received from a subscriber just, I mean, a few hours ago. So I thought, let me just make this quick video here and put it on the internet because I think it will help people. Now, I've, I've already read their message and I thought, wow, well, this is, this is something I can tell this person that will help them. So I'm going to start this video by quickly reading their email. And if you have any advice for this person, leave a comment. Remember when you leave comments, it helps people who are reading the comments. So you're essentially helping people in the world by giving good advice. All right, I'm gonna read this briefly and then I'm gonna give you two things that you can do that will completely change the way you work, the way you think, and it's gonna help you. The subject is problem with focusing in different environments. This is the subject of the email I received, which you'll see where this is going. I have always been terrible at doing math, never receiving more than a B plus in high school. I nearly failed my trigonometry class my junior year, but decided to take calculus my senior year. I then dropped the class last minute, and now I am once again reconsidering self-studying calculus and statistics. My biggest issue, however, is the fact that I am always on the go because of my parents. Here's the kicker. I find it hard to sit down and actually focus on mathematics along with time management. Can you give me any tips on making the most out of my study time? P.S. I found your content through your video. It only takes two weeks. I found it extremely inspiring to the point where I have listened to it at least five times already. I also appreciate your constant uploads, especially inspirational ones. All right, so now we're going to talk about two things that you can do. But first, let me just say thank you. I'm, I'm glad you liked the video. It only takes two weeks. That was that was an interesting video because, well, it, I, I just kind of made it because I was telling a story and for some reason people liked it. So I'm very happy for that and grateful. Um, but that was a true story. And yeah, yeah, I'm glad you watched it because that was that was a cool story. So check that video out. It only takes two weeks. So you're struggling with time management. So I have I have two things to say. So first, you want to get into a routine, okay? And you need to build that routine. So whatever it is you're trying to learn, in your case, it's math, but this could be anything. You need to start building a small routine. And by that, I mean, you, you need to do it every day. The best way, and there's books on this you can buy, there's all kinds of studies, but the best way that I have personally found to build a routine is to do something every day. And for me, it's to do it in the morning. There's this old saying in Spanish, it says, El que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. And translated, um, it, 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 it translates funny. It says, he who stays up late, God helps them. It's something like that. But it, the point of the saying is, you know, basically, if you stay up late and work hard, you know, good things will come. And what I would do, if I was you, is I would get up really early in the morning, like super, super early, 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m., and get to work. Just get up early and grind every single day. Make it a routine. Right, try to do some physical activity as well. So you're working your mind and your body, right? You're doing both early in the morning, getting it done like a rock star. You build that routine and that's gonna get you to do math. The second thing you have to do is probably even more important because you're saying, okay, I'll build a routine. Good, done, easy, right? You have to stick to your routine. And so I'm gonna give you the second thing, which is a very powerful strategy, which I don't think, I think I've mentioned this before, but I don't think I've emphasized it enough. You have to remind yourself that all you have is the present, okay? So when you're sitting down, you're thinking, oh, I should do math. You're thinking. You're thinking about what math you should do. So you're essentially thinking about the future. Sometimes you sit down and you think about the past. You think about the math you did before. You think about things you did. You're essentially thinking about the past. 
But your mind needs to be in a place where you're thinking about one thing and one thing only. You're thinking about the present. You're thinking about what you're doing right now. The words that are coming out of your mouth, the things you're writing down, your thoughts. That's what matters. That's what gets you into, hey, I'm going to be effective right now because all you have is now. So you have your goals, your routine building. And then whenever you start to fail, whenever you feel you start to falter, remind yourself that you're in the present and you have to get it done. You know, one of the one of the most common things people encounter, and this is true for all humans, is, is it's easier to sit down and watch a video or read an article on the internet about something that's interesting to you or something you want to do than many times actually do that thing. Because oftentimes the thing you want to do has some type of reward, whether it be learning something, whether it be some monetary gain, getting a new job. Usually things have some type of reward and that's why people do them, whether it be self you know, gratification. And that reward typically requires work. So it's easier to think about the thing than actually do the thing. And this is very true, especially in mathematics, right? Because math is hard, it takes time. So we have to sit down with, with a pencil or a piece of paper and work on it. And it's easier to dream about becoming a great mathematician than it is to actually become one, right? So keep that in mind. So, so build that routine and, and focus on the present, right? Which, which is hard to do. It's hard to do. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Another problem people have is, you know, what book to use? You know, wh where, do, where do you start, right? In, in truth, it doesn't matter as much as starting, you know? You can spend two hours figuring out where to start, or you can just start. And if you start somewhere, sure, you might pick a bad book, or you might pick a bad subject, you might pick a bad way to do it. You might not be, the, you might not be as efficient as you can, but at least you'll get started. So getting started is oftentimes, I think, more important than getting started perfectly. Sometimes you just have to do it. It's that, it's that old Nike slogan. And it's true in mathematics. Just do it. Sit down and do the mathematics, right? Do the problems. Just work them out. And again, building that routine, which was the first key, is going to help you. So those are the two things I think you can do that will make you a success in anything in life. Again, it doesn't matter what it is, right? If you're trying to work out, and you're trying to get in shape, if you wake up every day at five in the morning, you start by going for a walk, and the next thing you know you're running, and the next thing you know you're lifting weights and running, and you have a little routine, and that changes you because you have this routine. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get tired of the routine, and then you have to say, wait a minute, what are my goals? Okay, these are my goals. What, what do I have? I have the present. What can I do? I can take steps to reach those goals right now, right? Stop, stop thinking about it. Overthinking. Overthinking is, you know, it's, it's a word that I like to use and I don't like to use because it's important to think about things carefully. But sometimes people overthink to the point of paralysis where, where, they, where they don't do anything. And that's what happens to most people who are trying to do something, like learn math or do something hard, right? So it sounds like you have a lot of issues. And so I think, I think this can help you. Those are the two things. What do you all think? Do you all have any other advice for this person who is trying to learn math? And again, they're having a hard time focusing on the mathematics along with time management. So my recommendation was a routine. That's, that's the time management part. And, and then focusing on math, that's being in the present. What are your goals? What are you trying to do with your life? What are you trying to learn? Right? If you're trying to learn math, do it right now. Right? Don't wait. Get started right away. That's going to make a difference. Anyways, if you want to learn math, check out my courses also. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have math courses. If you get them, please use my links. It helps me greatly, and I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum, so you should get a low price when you click my links. The links are in the description of any of my videos or on my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. Also, check out my other YouTube channel, The Internet Sorcerer. It's a channel where I post all kinds of random stuff on anything. It's like my whatever channel. So check it out if you want more content. Also check out my Math Sorcerer channel in Spanish, Math Sorcerer Espanol. I sometimes post content there too. Check out my eBay store. Check out everything. Just check my links in the description. The most important key takeaways you should take away from this video are, one, you need to build a routine for whatever you're trying to do. It makes it easier. Human beings respond to routines. 
Two, when your routine falters, you need to remind yourself that what are you doing? What, what do you have? The only thing you have is the present. So use it to accomplish your goals. It's a good way to get motivated. Keep doing mathematics.